So I'll give you a personal view of, of agriculture in the future on this basis. California is number one in a lot of different crops, staples, like grapes, almonds, lettuce, tomatoes, oranges, dairy, and rice. Um, why? Because it has a long growing season, you can grow multiple crops. You just need to add a lot of water. If you look at this view of California from space, the Central Valley should be brown like the ring around it, but there's green down the middle and that's due to an awful lot of irrigation. Now various climate factors affect farming and here are some projections. Uh, we'll have a longer frost-free season, yeah. We'll have uh, fewer frost days, great. Longer dry periods, boo. But we'll have more hot nights. Oh wait, that's not good. <laughs> Average weather condition will be getting warmer, even the extreme. So warmer maximums in winter and summer, warmer minimums in winter and summer. Most people in most places will be seeing red. The most common weather there during summer will be temperatures of standard deviation above normal lasting for five days at a time. That'll be number one. Major heat waves will last upwards of a month. Yikes. But farmers come to the rescue. All that irrigation means evaporation, and that makes the summer maximum temperatures about three to five Fahrenheit degrees cooler than it would be without that. So thank a farmer today. <laughs> one chance to take credit. Plants keep cool by transpiration, but different plants respond differently to heat. So some don't like it that hot. Corn, tomatoes, rice, and wheat yields all decline as temperatures increase as to the levels they will in the Central Valley. Dairy cows don't like it that hot any more than we do. To transpire, plants need water, so the first adaptation to high heat is just to pour on more water. Problem solved. Except for one giant detail, where are you going to find all this extra water? Well, don't look down, because groundwater reserves are declining. In most of the Central Valley, they're at historical lows or lower. Uh, the areas that are orange in there are bad. The areas that are red are extra bad, and there's purple areas that are off the charts. Don't look up for more water either. Models predict, on average, winter precipitation to be near normal. And that's when it, most of it falls in California, is during winter. Uh, and less of it will be stored as snow. So if you look on this diagram, you'll see snowpack is <laughs> declining. Snowflakes become endangered uh, here in Colorado as well as in California. Um, you might think, though, that dams could make up for this declining snowpack, but dams don't store much water. And uh, droughts come and go. So here's a lake near where I live, Folsom. On July 27, now you see it. Uh, this year, now you don't. And the funny thing is, people want to drink water every year, and uh, we're just so demanding that way. So this map shows us uh, areas with high water stress, or the darker browns. It's really difficult to farm or really to compete for the water in those areas. I have time for one more ag-related problem. Well, actually, a couple more. Uh, other things don't like, like it hot as well. Uh, many insect pests, diseases, pathogens, and weeds grow better. Anyone here for a juicy strawberry? <laughs> yeah, maybe you'll pass. All right, did I mention that California is number one in all the good stuff? Not everything, just the good stuff, like wine, pistachios, peaches. Wait, you didn't think Georgia was number one in peaches? Or Grand Junction. <laughs> peaches. Other stone fruits, palm fruits, tree nuts, grapes, they all need a dormant period in which to develop properly their blooms and fruit the next year. If they don't get that, they don't fruit properly, set fruit properly, and they can be subject to frost damage. And you know, there's just never enough time for this talk, or time for chilling of these plants either. So by the year 2050, the 800 hours of chilling that my pistachio trees need will no longer be occurring in the Central Valley. Weather has its ups and downs. Ag is optimized for average conditions, but it can handle some variation. However, variation that's a standard deviation above normal is pretty tough for some of the major crops. In conclusion, everything is becoming warmer, so that unusual hot spells will become the norm. California will be less flaky, in a snow sense. We'll all want more water that's not there, and ag will change, and the mix of crops will be different. Thank you very much.
Yes. 